Uh, dudes talking sh in a truck here with uh, Jesse David Leach from Kill Switch What's Engage. Up? What's up, brother? How you doing? Yeah. Hey, you're about to go on stage, dude. Thank you for taking the time to do this. Yeah, I'm all warmed up, ready to go, so um, we can just chill. All right, good. Yeah. So, I mean, I know you have to take care of your voice. I saw you a few weeks ago and you tore it up. It was uh, 420 out in Mesa, Arizona. Yeah, man, it that, was. Thank that, you. That was a great show, seeing all you guys there and uh, seeing you guys here. I'm mean, pretty serious with the warm-up You have to be. Yeah, yeah. When I get up in the morning, I have a routine that I do with a straw and some water and helps loosen up the folds and I do a whole speech warm-up, then I chill. Then I do, later on in the afternoon, I do a, a singing, singing, screaming warm-up. So it's really a lot of time, but worth it, man. I, I Since my surgery, which I had surgery in um, May, yes, my voice has been better than ever. I can finally sing and hit notes. In <laughs> May of last year. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you had a whole album to record, too. Yeah, we were about halfway Ooh. through when I broke down. And then my first show back was opening for Iron Maiden over in Europe in yep. front of 11,000 people. Talk about a trial by fire. No man. pressure. No, no pressure at all. And that's a cool testament song, by the way, too. Yeah, trial dude. By Hell God. yeah. Yeah, Big testament. testament. Dude, testament rules, man. So, but you did it, but you did it. And and so the album now, I mean, you said halfway, you had your surgery now. Done, done, it's done. It's done, done, yeah. and done. Getting it mastered, stoked, man. We got Howard Jones on the track. And we have another guest guest vocalist I can't talk about, but oh. that'll be sick too. The, the track is fire, man. I'm stoked. So uh, Metal Blade Records, your new label home? Yeah, man. They're treating us really well. They really uh, believe I know in the, us. I know uh, the guys are very excited to have you and the band a part of their family. So how is the, how is the, everything with the band right now? How I mean, on stage and just seeing you guys off stage, it seemed like everybody's cool. Like, yeah, guys... it's family, man. Yeah. You know, it's, we're at that point. I've been back seven years, so all the gears are moving in the proper order. It's great, man. And I uh, got to watch Howard and light the torch today. Yeah. They killed it. Nice to see Howard back up on the good foot doing his thing. And I love to see you guys. I was just talking with somebody else uh, back here before I saw you. Just how cool it is that you guys, uh, over the last few years, just posting up uh, bromantic pictures of each other. That's my cool. homie. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just cool messages to each other and uh, having him on the album and stuff. It's, it is really cool. Yeah, it, it never seemed like a thing because I was just so concerned about getting my voice in order and singing his stuff and getting back on the good foot with my career. And then it just kind of occurred to me, man, and Howard came out to a show and we sat and talked. I was like, yo, we need to just like suss some stuff out. How are you? And within like 15 minutes, I was like, dude, uh, you are so similar to who I am. Yeah. And we were hanging down hard on the bus that night. It was awesome. That's so he's, cool. He's good people, man. Hey, and Jesse, uh, tell me about, uh, follow you on Instagram and stuff. I know you're a heavy duty bike rider. Oh yeah. I mean, pretty, do you have your bike out here with you? I don't, unfortunately, because uh. we had to fly in. And the last tour, I took my bike home to repair it, and I didn't ship it out. So uh, I've been walking and kind of running and working out on my okay, own. But all right. I miss my bike when I get home. I'm gonna be hitting them trails. Yeah, but you do serious, like you do uh, like off road and and road stuff, right? Yeah, I've done off road, but I've actually calmed down on the off road. I do mostly like straightaway trails now because I don't you? have health insurance. So if, uh, I, if I get really badly hurt, I'm gonna be paying through my nose. Come on, you don't. You have to. <laughs> no, I can't afford it in New York Jesse, State. Thank you, New David York State. David Leach. Yep. Come on. I wouldn't believe how much it costs for me to get health insurance in New York State. But don't they have stuff for bands and stuff? No, like, not for us, because we all live in different places. Yeah, it's a long time. You, you're, so you're, you're in New York, but you're from Rhode Island, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Rhode Island, kind of all over, but mostly Rhode Island. Yeah. Hey, and uh, are you, is there a cool genre of music that you listen to? I know you're probably a reggae fan, right? But yeah, I, mean, I love roots of, reggae, for sure. Yeah, that, I would see that being one of your favorite non-hard rock metal yep. genres to go to. Absolutely that, and um, I love old school, like, jungle, drum and bass kind of stuff. See that? I feel like that stuff is very metal. That drum and bass stuff. Well, especially was, like dubstep. I've been. My girlfriend's really into dubstep. I'm listening to some of that stuff. That's, yeah, it's, it can it's, get it's heavy. heavy. I'm kind of digging it. But man. I like how Member Corn uh, did the album with Skrillex. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Skrillex has uh, got a lot of talent. I've heard some of his remixes. He's great, man. All Can't right. front on him. Yeah, but I've always. I, I do think that drum and bass stuff has always lent itself to something very tribal. Yeah, yeah very... especially the UK jungle stuff. It's got, you know, they got Raga singing over those beats. It's so good. You man. know what I love, Jesse? Uh, what you do is that a lot of people, uh, when they're in bands and stuff, when they're off tour, they hibernate. Uh, and they're not big fans of the music, so they yeah. just stay inside. I like that you go out there and you DJ. Yeah, and you DJ, DJ yeah. Punk, punk rock nights, punk yeah. rock clubs, venues all over the world. You get out there uh, after a show on sh on show days off, and and you do and you hang with the fans and you play a bunch of music. That's cool, bro. Yeah, it's I mean it's a lifestyle, you yeah. know. I, I know. I, I'm not half stepping with this, and I st I still go to punk shows and hardcore shows and metal shows when I'm home. 
you know, take the trip down to Manhattan now that I moved up to Woodstock. I still go and I make my presence known because it's my culture. It's not something that I just can put on a shelf and like forget about. I love that you do that because that's such a cool thing. I'm telling you, people don't do that. Jesse, can I drop you off at your bus and stuff? Yeah. Where, where, do, you, where, do you know where it is? Yeah, yeah. Literally like 150 it, feet that it's way. It's right over there? Yeah, All by right, that cool. stage. By that stage you're about to go on. Yeah, man. Day, man. That's so cool. Hopefully the rain doesn't come back. Man, it was raining all I know, hard. like the torch was playing, I was getting worried, man. Like the rain was hitting all the wires and equipment. Our crews were like covering all the stuff you up. You know what, but no lightning, and that's good. Yeah, yeah. And the shows are going on, because I've been out here a few years ago. Maybe it was like four years ago when there was a tornado. Were you here? No, no I don't think uh, so. I would have remembered that. Tornado, they closed it down. We were underneath the bridges, like holding no, on for dear life. No, it was no, crazy. No. <laughs> Hell no. You're not, you're not into that? You're not into tornadoes? No, I love tornadoes, but I don't want to be in one. <laughs> which, one which one's your advice? Uh, the blue one. The blue there. one, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I've never really been in one, except for that. that was actually kind of cool it was right here you can feel when the air drops it's nuts man yeah no i don't want to be in any before. of that so i just want to hang out man i just want to eat tacos and drink some tequila are you still a tequila guy oh yeah oh come on now yeah oh i have some i i can, can don't you... threaten me with no, a good but, time I, but not now <laughs> I'm, I'm driving so, but uh but <laughs> hey but uh when you're done or i'm hanging out here Dude, is that cool yeah, do you want a little, little little relaxer here and i want to give you uh i want to give you one of the um <laughs> this is one of the lighters dudes talking lighter oh nice dude talking Lighter, Hell that, yeah, and man. then if we can do a selfie, Jesse, Swag. and then I'll let you get to your show. Thank you, brother, for doing oh, this. Man, I appreciate my pleasure. that. Always a pleasure, brother. Yeah.